Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Jay from Dirty Boy Tools here to bring you a Top Stash EDC multi tool sheath uh, loadout that doesn't involve an actual multi tool. So, I got this sheath originally a little while ago from Top Stash uh, with the intention of kind of keeping a couple of tools on me. Uh, I don't currently use it, and it's one reason. If you look at the back, uh, you need to take your belt, loop it through and uh, use it in that manner and uh, if you have to do it that way you can't take it off during the day especially if you're around people in order to take this thing off your belt you gotta unbuckle your belt and then pull it off and if you do that in front of other people it's just very awkward so don't do that uh, however if you're the type of person that can commit to wearing this on your belt all day no problems no issues no worries if you're used to that then this might be the right kit for you so I put in these tools to give you an idea of what you can carry, how you can carry it, just a mix of tools that can help in everyday life, depending on what you encounter. Uh, so let me just uh, get started on it. I'll go from right to left. So over all the way on the right is my Lyle pry bar. It's about a five inch pry bar. It's got a strike cap on it, and it's about a quarter inch thick here. It is a great pry bar, an excellent tool. I wish they made more models in longer lengths because I would buy all of them. They're very good to use. I'll, of course, include links to everything in the uh, description. So, up next, I got a combination of things. So, this is a LaBear uh, finger screwdriver. Uh, it is ratcheting, so I can turn it each way and ratchet wherever I need to go. Very small, very compact. A lot of tools from LaBear also come in the blue color, uh, so they can match a blue aesthetic if you want. And I believe they have a couple of different varieties. Uh, definitely good to consider them for some EDC gear. Uh, next, I have the Press the Cycle uh, bicycle style ratchet and the Pass Through uh, uh, bit holder. So you see here, red dot, and I think a lot of you have seen this before, and then the flat end, you line those two up, and all of a sudden you get a pass through. So you have a nice ratchet there, and you have a nice T-bar, breaker bar, and of course, you know, you have a variety of things you could do. You can push this back out, and have it extend from here, or you can even add this in and extend it here. Uh, so you got options with a tool like this. Between this and the LaBear, you'll have plenty of driving capability uh, with uh, your screws and your bits and such. So next up is where a lot of people would include a Kinepex Cobra. Uh, great pliers, but I am currently using the Lobster UWP 175 DNA. I, and uh, the toolkit I have at work is actually the 200 millimeter version. <clears throat> It's a 175 millimeter version. It's a great pair of pliers. Uh, slip joint, four different sizes here. Uh, it has the screw removal feature on it. And Lobster seems to be known for having, see those little circles in there? Uh, so if you do grab a bolt, uh, you can prevent yourself from rounding or stripping it out. You'll still mar it a little bit with these types of pliers, but this will make it less also has a pair of cutters in here good for thicker wire and not so good for thin wire zip ties and a little pry bar screwdriver so this in itself is kind of like a multi-tool um, and uh, it'll it'll help you in a lot of situations it's been helping me out a lot uh, one thing I will say um, the Nip Knipex Cobras their jaws in terms of how they grip pipes and uh, grip fittings grip rods are superior but overall I do like the variety I can get with the lobsters. Uh, next up is a new blade I got from Wall Upton. So I got this knife um, because it's thin and it's it's pen like, it's rod like, just like a lot of my tools. And if things are shaped like a rod, you can fit them in a lot of different places. That's the original reason I got this knife. I will probably do my first knife review on it pretty soon um, I'm sort yeah, I'm, I'm into knives a little bit but I'm not a knife nerd you know I'm pretty casual 
But overall, it's good to have a blade on you at all times. So why not this one? It fits in very well, and it's slender and skinny, so you can fit it in any of these compartments, really. Next up is a pair of needle nose pliers, very valuable, very useful. These are the Engineer PS01 miniature pliers. Um, Engineer uh, is, of course, made in Japan. And uh, if you guys are familiar with VAM pliers, uh, they also, they, actually I have a pair of VAM pliers right here. If you guys are familiar with you know, the VAM plier brand or, brand or Vampire Tools brand, I believe they have the same OEM. But I think some of the vampire tools are made in Taiwan. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. i got to do more research on that. Either way, they're both great quality tools, great quality com uh, companies. And Engineer specializes actually in the screw removal pliers too. So if you do need a pair of those, uh, they should be able to fulfill that. They have a lot of variety in that. Next up is something that most people will recognize and will swear by. Uh, the Knipex pliers wrench. This is the 150 millimeter model. Uh, I don't. I have the larger one, the 180, as well, and I have the 10 inch one, which is a 250. The great pliers. I mean, you can't dispute that they can replace a cr adjustable wrench in most situations, uh, almost all situations. And in those situations, this ends up being better to use. It's. It just. It feels great in your hand. You know, Knipex knows what they're doing when they're making pliers. Alright, next up is a tool I saw recommended by another YouTube channel, the Torque and Twisted channel. Great channel, follow them. Uh, they, he talks about a lot of good uh, mechanics tools, a lot of good mechanics tips. Uh, I've learned a lot from there and I think he has great taste in tools as well. Uh, but these tweezers were originally intended for grooming purposes. Uh, they were meant to grab hairs from any angle, straight away, from the side, you know, from every which way so that you can tweeze er ergonomically, I guess, I, I don't know. Um, it does tr pull out hairs, just take my word for it, I don't want to pull out any more hairs, it, it hurts, I don't want to do it, just take my word for it, it does work. I got these because I wanted to try these out as sewing pliers, I have a couple of pants that are ripped and I don't want to throw them out because they're just ripped in one place I can fix them right so I'll take these tweezers hold the little rips together and sew through it it probably won't be the prettiest job but I, I just need them to you know have the holes covered up that's all and last but not least is a bit kit from LeBear there's many different bit kit options this uh, LeBear bits come with a lot of the tools that they have so I have a couple of these laying around and one thing I like about them is they come with their own little uh, ring so you can hook it onto things, hook it onto everything else and carry it around with you if you need. Uh, they also seem to have really good bits. Uh, I've been using them um, in different areas and I do like them. Overall they are well made but I believe they started out as a bit company. So that makes sense, right? So there you guys have it. That is my top stash EDC multi-tool sheath tool set without a multi-tool I mean unless you count this, this I guess this can count as a multi-tool but you know what I mean the, without a folding multi-tool uh, just wanted to give you guys an idea of what you can carry in this and uh, you know I don't personally use this but hey maybe someone out there can see this and say hey oh that would work great for my situation I'd love it and then they'll buy it and they'll use it every day and they'll wear their tools proudly on their belt uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments about anything. Is let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd be happy to interact with all of you guys.